Well, I would feel the same way as the mother if it were my daughter, but if you be objective about it, what we're talking about is texting and telephone calls. It's not illegal, it is unprofessional, it is appropriate, but I don't know what else you could do about it. What? Well, help me out legally. I mean, because he has crossed a line. There is, um, I'm quoting what the, uh, the school district, lack of professionalism. Uh, he did violate some kind of code of conduct here. Isn't that means enough to do something more than just a letter in the file? Six months of communication outside of school with a 15-year-old girl? That's inappropriate, John. Well, well, if you find out more than what we already have, maybe. But, you know, we've sort of gone past public floggings now. We can't put him in the stock. We do know that they put a letter in his file. And, frankly, that's pretty serious for a teacher. If we find out more, if there's more information that there was contact other than just telephone and texting, probably there should be more done. But at this point, I don't know how you can do anything more. What? Is the legal system behind the curve on this one, John? I mean, we're doing these stories way too much. I, I, almost once a week. A lot of the times it's the female teacher and the male student. This time uh, it's vice versa. But isn't there something we got to do? We got to do more to protect our kids, and the legal system has to catch up. Well, I don't think the legal system is so far behind because we don't have anything that amounts to a crime. We just have inappropriate conduct, which can happen. Now, if it goes further than that, obviously the legal system steps in and does something more. Frankly, I think this teacher probably got the lesson of his life, and as I understand it, the latest development in this case is the girl is no longer in his class, so maybe that's all there's going to be in this case. Let's hope so. Let, let, yeah, exactly. Let, let's hope so. Uh, again, just to reiterate, the school, uh, the school district not commenting because it's a personnel matter. They say mom was given options uh, to move her daughter into another class. Uh, we watched the package, the story there from Kula didn't sound like it, but I hope you're right, John, as we update this story that, uh, uh, you know, that she's been taken out of there. Um, you know, obviously, you know, here Here's Mike. If we give you Mike Galanis' school of law, John, you can blow it apart, but I don't care. This is what I'm saying. It's like you get a situation like this with what's going on. It obviously stinks. Uh, suspend the guy for a week. Check into his past to make sure that he hasn't had any other inappropriate conduct. Get him some counseling. Make sure everything's on the up and up. Then we can feel good about him dealing with 15-year-old girls again. Right now, if this guy is teaching my 15-year-old girl, and it's not this one but another one, I'm nervous. I'm very nervous and afraid here. I think we're both from the same school of law, but I have to say, we don't know that they haven't done all those things. Remember, they're not commenting because this is a personnel situation. I have a strong feeling, given the age of the girl, that more than just a letter went into the file, but they're not talking about mm -hmm. it because, of okay. course, he has rights as well, and you don't want to create a scandal situation any more than it already is. Yeah, okay. Well, I know you and I agree on that same front. Uh, if that's our daughter, we're, we're certainly upset in this situation. As we heard from that mom, we can definitely empathize. Uh, John Patrick Dolan, always appreciate your legal expertise. Thanks again. Pleasure, Mike. Okay. Uh, how about this one? This one is a tough one.